and then direct your arrow will make ejection seats fit. This is primary instruction given to every man in the Royal Air Force. On this subject, listen now to a senior executive of Martin Baker Aircraft, the ejection seat manufacturer, Wing Commander Durham. There are three typical ejection seats known as the Mark I, Mark II, and Mark III ejection seat. Now these seats are fired from an aircraft by means of an ejection gun. And like all guns, they can be dangerous if not handled carefully or if mishandled by inexperienced personnel. We shall give you a demonstration of making the seat fit. And the principle involved is to prevent the withdrawal of a wedge-shaped gear from the firing mechanism of the seat. We will start with this Mark II ejection seat. In these ejection seats, the gun is fired when the seat occupant reaches up and withdraws this firing handle on the protective face screen over his face. <coughs> so that until the gun is made gay, it's important not to touch this handle. To make this gun safe, a single pin is used, and that is carried in a stowage on the left-hand side of the seat. The pin should be taken out and put into a hole in the rear of the wedge-shaped gear. To make this Mark III ejected seat safe, the two larger pins attached to the wedges are used. One is placed in the stair of the ejection gun, the other in the stair of the canopy jettison gun. The third remaining pin is not used for rescue operations, but is carried there for services. The seat is now made safe, and we can continue to remove the pilot from the seat. First, undo the oxygen mask and remove it from your face. Pull out the tele mic connection. Disconnect the main oxygen supply, followed by the emergency oxygen. Undo the parachute quick release box. Uncouple the dinghy connection. fasten the seat harness. The pilot is now free and can be removed from the seat. You will note that it is unnecessary to undo the leg restraint harness as this comes away when the seat harness quick release box is unfastened. This is the Mark IV ejection seat. The general arrangement of this seat is similar to earlier seats although the design has been simplified. However, the method of making the seat safe remains the same. To make this seat safe, take the pin out of the stowage and place it in the stair of the ejection gun. The seat is now safe and the pilot can be removed by the same method as shown in earlier seats, except it is necessary to uncouple the leg restraining harness, and this is done by pulling up the lever on the left-hand side of the 